All right, so on a circular saw, this is the saw plate. Um, the cool thing about the modern ones is you can change out the, what a lot of people call teeth. If you go to buy them, they're actually called saw bits. Um, and this is the saw shank, and the whole thing is kind of the tooth or whatnot. Uh, so if you want to replace them, you got to have some tools. I guess you don't have to have them. You can use whatever you can find, but ideally you want to get like a uh, saw wrench or I think that's the name of them hand wrench is what i think they're commonly called and then you got to have the little tool if you don't have that you can use a small allen wrench which is what i used before i got the tool but they both been really easy if uh saw seized up and what you want to do is find the hole in the shank you're going to set that down in there and then you insert the pin to get in that hole like that and then you got to have something to press against so I usually put a board down here to kind of block it especially if they're seized up and then just be kind of careful and this will just prize them out or leverage them out and then you can remove the individual teeth like that and if you pull the whole thing out you can see the that's pretty well greased so I'm not going to add any grease to it but if you were going to put this in you might want to put a little oil on it so that it doesn't seize up so bad and then when you get ready to put your new teeth, tooth in you just or bit in set it in there like that you kind of brace yourself and then you just kind of wrench it back in be very careful though because if this isn't in very good or if it doesn't go all the way through from one side of the tool through the shank to the other it'll slip and you can really hurt yourself putting pressure down because you'll catch one of these teeth and I've done that before which is why I usually wear gloves so that's a good idea and that's how you replace a saw bit